Hi, I'm Sally McPherson from IC Plan. Welcome to our instructional video on how to promote your Plan High business through Facebook. This is one of a two part series on using the incredibly popular social media tool to promote your Plan High company. So, one thing to remember about Facebook is that people come there principally for recreation. Facebook is about their private lives, it's about their interests, they're communicating with their friends and family. However, there is a place there for business, but you need to be careful about how you join in on the conversation as a company. Simply setting up a company page on Facebook and pumping out all of your corporate messages relentlessly won't work. No one wants to read about your business every single time they log into Facebook to take some time out. If you are going to seriously use Facebook to promote your business, then you have to remember to build a community around your business. It has to be more than about your machines and your company. Getting likes for your Facebook page. The first easy step is to invite all your friends. Select all of the friends that you want to invite to your page. My recommendation would be to select everyone you know. Next, go to the top of the page in the corner right near the cover image and click on the dot 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 icon and select share. Now share your page on your own timeline. Encourage your staff to like your page then ask them to share the page in the same way as I indicated just now and invite their friends to the page. Next create a post to the page. Start by posting something interesting about your business such as thrilled to announce that we've just been appointed to XYZ project. Looking forward to starting the job or something similar. Try to post every day if possible or every couple of days in the start. In the next section, I'll talk about what to post. If you really want more likes, you can create an ad for your page. I wouldn't suggest doing this until you have a lot of good content on there. You can go through the process of creating a ad by going to promote your page and select page likes. Identify the kind of people you want to target in the same way you did when you set up your company page. Select their locations, gender, age range and interests. Down the bottom, set a budget. You can select a couple of dollars a day promoting your page for more likes and slowly build from there. Decide on the small amount that you won't miss. Then you need to upload some images and text that will turn into the promoted post on people's feed. Make sure it's relevant to your plan hire company and the text is clear and punchy. As I said before, people come to Facebook to relax and unwind. So they don't want a lot of corporate messages in their face. So you have to decide what is it about your business that will pique their interest, not just send them a whole bunch of messages about your business. You can occasionally send business messages through your page, but do so rarely and sparingly. Instead, focus on building a community of like-minded individuals who come to recognise your name and your brand, and in the hope that in the future, if they need machines, they will remember your name. You want to attract the most number of people from the industry to like your page. So ask yourself, what do my clients and customers like? Do they share any common interests? Can I post things about what they're interested in? Are there common interests among my staff, among the people that work for me, or the contacts that I have? Obviously a common interest is the industry, but is there anything else that they share? Do they like fishing, motorbike riding, do they love the outdoors? You know, a great way to build content for your page is to sign up to an industry newsletter and to post content, news and opinions about issues in the industry and kind of aggregate that information on your Facebook page. So one of the goals of posting that kind of content is to get people to share the information around their networks and that's how you get additional likes. You'll get introduced to like-minded people from your like-minded community and that's how you expand your audience. So some great ideas for posts include things like funny jokes, images and memes from the earth moving industry. Uh, my recommendation is to keep this stuff clean and funny and light and remember that anything you post on your company page reflects on your company's professionalism. There is a way to be funny on Facebook without crossing any boundaries. If you're unsure about the kind of content that is appropriate to paste on your Facebook page, then don't do it. Request stories and contribution from your audience. That's a great way to get them to interact with you. You can use things like, give me the best example of X, or tell us a time that you um, experienced this, or tag a friend who recently dug up a pipe and exploded it. Anything like that gets your users to interact with you and comment, and they often tag in their friends. Another cool way 
way to build content for your page is sometimes about cool machines and technology in the industry. People love seeing new developments in technology uh, in machines and also uh, associated machine technology. So if you come across anything unusual, even if it's on the side of the road that you're driving past, take a picture, post it to your Facebook page. Some great ideas for posts include funny jokes, images or memes about the earth moving industry. So keep this stuff clean, light and funny. Remember that anything you post on this page reflects on your company's professionalism. There is a way to be funny on Facebook without cr crossing any boundaries. If you're unsure about any content, don't post it. Request stories and contributions for your page. Ask for the best example of something or tell us about the time you or tag a friend who recently... And this is all a way of engaging with your audience and finding new followers. Post about cool machines and technologies from the industry. Pop up pictures or videos of new earth moving techniques. Guys in earth moving love seeing new things in their space. If you see a really great final trim grader operator on your site, film him working. Or if you see someone doing something unique on a site, take a picture and show to your followers. Make sure you always ask their permission. Make sure that any company dates you post include a link to your website for more information, driving traffic back to your business site. Sign up to the industry news sites for great news articles on projects and other industry developments that your followers will care about. Post the link and a little bit of commentary about your thoughts on the subject and invite others to comment. Post updates about your staff and promote your business culture. If you have a team barbecue or a team building exercise, or you do a staff member of the month, post it on your page and get your employees to share it. Communicate to your audience what it's like to work for your business and what you stand for in your conduct as a service provider. This is a great way to begin building a relationship with new customers. Now, there are some very serious warnings about using social media to promote your business. Social media can develop a life of its own, and sometimes it's hard to know how the posts that you're making on your company page are being perceived by the audience. It is very easy to make an error that can blow up in your face online quickly, anger people, offend them, inspire unwanted debate, or cause people to look at your business in the wrong light. And once these social juggernauts get started, they're very hard to correct or slow down. So I'm going to give you some advice that you need to think of every single time you post to your company Facebook page. Do not post anything on your Facebook site that could call into question your safety protocols. Question whether the image is representing something that you would contravene a site safety policy. Do not upload images of anyone drinking or acting foolishly in your business. They can post this to their personal pages. Remember, if you have an opinion about something, the stronger the opinion, the more opposition you will likely attract to it. So be prepared for some blowback if you get up on your soapbox. Poor spelling, grammar and punctuation in posts make your business look sloppy. Spell check every post you make. Be careful about posting opinions about other services or products in your industry unless these are positive. If you don't like the machine operator accreditation processes, for example, this is not the forum to complain about them. Remember that all other people in the industry are trying, like you, to earn a living and publicly slandering them, their field or their product will come back to bite you. Be seen as supportive of industry change. If you use your Facebook page to constantly complain about new changes to regulation or other industry issues, you sound negative and can come off as not being progressive. This concludes our video tutorial on what to post on your company profile page for plan high companies looking to increase their following on Facebook. We recommend that you start posting every couple of days until your Facebook following grows and then once it's a little larger, you're welcome to post more frequently than that. The more regularly you post and the more interesting your content, the greater chance you have of actually growing your following. But if you want help promoting your business online, then you've got to be on IC Plan. Literally thousands and thousands of civil engineers, project managers, supervisors and mining professionals use IC Plan every day to find machines. And if you're not there, they won't find yours. So it's very easy to try our service out for free. All you've got to do is go to www.icplant.com.au and click list my business.